Hi, my name is Sean Mars and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems and today we're going to go over the speed pack configurations. So this is a performance enhancing tool for assemblies and it really can help you if you ever have problems with rotating, uh, zooming in or out, or with the rebuilding of your assembly. A speed pack configuration is a simplified graphical representation of an assembly or subassembly without the need to suppress components or features or substitute in simplified placeholders. And it does this by retaining faces, bodies, sketches, curves, or reference geometry that you may need to select or dimension to. So what I'm going to do here, we have our little Hawkridge Systems drone. And I'm going to take a couple of the sub-assemblies and just quickly make them into speed packs. So first we'll just use this little simple landing gear. And all I'm going to do is go over to the configuration tab. And I'm going to right click on any of my configurations, in this case the default configuration. I'll go down to speed pack. And this starts up the speed pack property manager. In here, we're just going to click on anything it is we need to include in that speed pack so that the mates can still solve or if we're going to create further mates. You can see that we can include faces, entire bodies, or sketches, reference geometry, or curves. There's also an option to do a geometry quick include, which SOLIDWORKS is going to uh, choose those include options for you uh, based on exterior components or a specific view of your choice. In this case, we're just going to select a few faces that we already have mates to. Now I can always come back and edit these choices if I need to add more. For now, that'll about do it, so we'll just say OK. And what you'll see is that the speedback configuration comes in as a derived configuration. So anything that happens to my default configuration will trickle its way down to the speed pack. The speed pack is active, and so if I move my mouse over it, what you're going to see is that as I move over geometry that I cannot select, SOLIDWORKS is going to go ahead and ghost it out. Let's take a look at what this looks like at the upper level assembly now. So I need to activate my speed pack configuration, so I'll go over to each of these sub-assemblies and switch it over to the default speed pack. Now as I mouse over, that ghost graphic circle will show me what is still selectable, and we can see that all of the mates involved with this sub-assembly, so concentric, coincident, and a parallel, are all still available. Um, you also note that all of the reference planes, the original front, top, and right plane, are still available for selection. Speed packs can also be made from the top level assembly. So all I have to do is go to this sub assembly, right click, and then go down to speed pack options. In here you'll see that we have options to create a mated speed pack or a graphic speed pack. Uh, the difference is the mated one's going to actually add things to those included boxes so all the mates will still solve. Once the speed pack is created, it's automatically turned on in this upper level assembly. And we can see all the faces needed for mates have been included. A very important thing to remember about speed packs is that they do not automatically update if components in the subassembly have moved or been edited. Uh, this is a somewhat manual process. So there's a couple different ways I can do this. At the top level, I can right click on any of my speed packed configurations, go down to speed pack options and you can see update speed pack. If I go back to my sub-assembly for the landing gear, I can see I can also do it from my configurations tab. Also, as of 2018, we can also set to have speed packs updated upon save. So that's gonna be found in your system options down in assemblies, update out of date speed pack configurations when saving files. This can be set to all, none, or configurations with the rebuild on save mark turned on. In today's video, we covered creating speed pack configurations to improve your assembly performance. If you want a little more detail, I also wrote a blog which can be found on our website, hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching.